All right, all right. Well, this morning I am looking at a riding mower. I picked up a few of them in the past few days. And uh, you can see this one's the Husqvarna with the YTH 2348. And uh, so it has the 23 horsepower Briggs & Stratton, the Intec, uh 48 inch deck. The only thing just, you know, I, I've just kind of glanced at it and I can tell one of the rear tires needs to be replaced. One of the rear ones has, it's almost a gash it looks like. Um, the battery, uh, I don't see any sticker on it, so I don't know how old it is. It is. It did hold, hold a charge. Oh, I see the, here we go. So it's May 2016, so it's on its last legs, but it did hold a charge. So, uh, and I haven't even looked at the belts or the blades or anything like that. Uh, but one thing I know I'm going to tackle the very first thing you know, at least with this one, I know what's going on, at least for one problem, is this. There we go, the aluminum push rod. So, the guy said this is the third one that he's replaced, and I don't know which side, which cylinder it is, but I'm going to take a look at both sides, and, uh, and I've already got the replacement. Uh, this does happen quite a bit, right? You, you do see this a lot. Uh, on the aluminum rods, but it always, keep using aluminum, don't switch over and put steel everywhere, because uh, when it binds up like this, it's gonna transfer the force somewhere else. I'd rather see this bend until we find out the root cause of the problem, right? So let's get started with that. First, I'm gonna clean the, the crap out of this. I'm gonna clean it all up, and uh, so it'll be a little easier to work with, and then we'll tackle these push rods. This stuff stinks. This is the stuff that smells like urine soaked pecan husks or something. It's uh, still a little damp in places, but it's dry enough to work on. Let's pop these uh, valve covers off. There's one. And the gasket's still good. So he must have replaced this side. That looks like, well, I can't jump to conclusions yet. Oh, that bolt was just hanging there. All right, it's right in the sun. Hopefully there's not a whole lot of glare for you. But yeah, I'm glad I got the whole set because this is, uh, he only showed me the, the bent aluminum one, but uh, the steel one's gone too. So now this valve's moving. That one, I wonder if it's top dead center there. Yeah, this valve is just plain stuck. <clears throat> Dang. Well, that's not good. All right, well, there's the other, this is the plug on the other side. You can see all the, uh, the carbon deposits on it. So it hasn't been burning that well. Probably burning very rich. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to take uh, the cover off and possibly take the uh, the head off on this side. What do you think? Just see why it's uh, see why it's binding, right? It's, man, it is just frozen solid. Okay, well, I'll do that real quick. Just take all the, the cover off and we'll start digging down to 
to get the head off. Well, you can kind of see the piston back here looks like it's been uh, looks like it's been scraped clean before. Um, the cylinder looks good, no scars or anything on it. Yeah, this could use uh, a lot of cleaning here. And this, let's see, here's the intake. Yeah, so it's moving freely. And the exhaust, yeah, it's just frozen. It looks like it's seated there. Oh, I see. So, if you look close, can you see this? Now, you see where the, the valve rod, uh, the, the stem comes out, and you see down at the bottom where it has that, uh, the seat that's on it. It's like a, uh, a bearing or a bushing seat. This one is protruding all the way out. It has been pushed out of there. <laughs> so it's keeping it from, from moving at all. So I'll have to take a look at this, uh, at this bushing at the seat here and see if we can tap it back in or does it need to be replaced or what. Uh, but that's what's keeping that from moving. So if that's the cause for that, but it was the aluminum rod that bent, the aluminum rod goes up here on the intake. So what happened to the steel one? Did it, because uh, it wasn't in here when I took all this off. And the only one he showed me was the aluminum, the bent aluminum one. I bet that steel one must have, if this stuck out like this, I bet the steel one just, just bent all to hell. I hope it didn't hurt anything like the lobes on the camshaft. Uh, yeah, I hope nothing uh, happened there. Let me, I'm gonna spin this around. And see if I can That one's moving, didn't seem like it moved a lot. Let me check this bottom one here. Yeah, okay, good, it's still moving. Well, I guess it's time to take this apart. Now, isn't there supposed to be a little seat? Let's see, this was on, uh, I can't remember if it's on the top or the bottom, I think, but it's gone, whatever it is. Um, I don't remember seeing it on the other side either. So we might have to find some little, the little caps that go on there. But uh, first, Okay, so, and I do have the spring compressors. Um, you can see them here. We'll compress these springs so we can take the keepers off. Uh, this one's gonna be tough because it's already stuck out. And I don't know what caused it. We'll have to take a look at the valve stems 
maybe they're corroded. And all right, let me get all this prepared. All right, so I got the spring compressor in place. So you can see the uh, the keepers are already sticking out there. All right, there it is. There's both of them. I'll set this in here so I don't lose them. set right by it and let's push the valve out there we go so we might as well clean all that stuff while we're at it there's the intake and now let's get the uh, the exhaust This one's a toughie. Hopefully I won't ru ruin the, the valve itself. I don't know if you can see that, but it is just not budging so far. Wow. I probably should get some eyewear just in case. I'm gonna back it out a little bit. Yeah, see, I don't see it moving at all. That's going to be a tough one. All right, so I went and got my, my eyewear, just in case. Just in case things go flying. And I think I'm going to spray a little WD-40 on this seat and see if that'll help. See, I don't know if that seat has already come all the way out and it's binding on the on the edge. I don't know because it is not wanting to move. Boom, that got it. Okay, did I uh, did I lose both of those? There's half of the keeper. The other half is still in there. I was expecting to see a lot of corrosion on that, but there's not. And this, you can see it's starting to push down. But, because uh, I don't think I have a replacement. I just don't know. I don't know what pushed it up. You know what I mean? There's got to be something. But, uh, I thought there'd be a lot of corrosion on the on the valve stem here and getting it clogged up over here and pushing it out, but uh, but it that's not the case. Well, let's put these aside. I just want to make sure none of this is damaged. It doesn't look like it is. Maybe we can tap it down. All right. 
All right. Well, let's uh, let's clean all this stuff out. Get all the carbon deposits off of there. Make sure there's nothing else binding this stuff. We'll clean the valves, reseat them, and uh, and that'll be it. What are you doing? Really? They're seated very well. It's all nice and clean. So, and last but not least, let's put. Uh, took a break and washed my hands a little bit. Let's put these on, and I always put a little blue Loctite on it just in case. And I looked up, I, on this particular engine, usually I see those little, the little caps that go on there. This one, no, wasn't on there. I was kind of surprised. I didn't see them on the diagram. Slide this in. All right, shouldn't take too long. Let's just get this joker back on. snug now and then I'll torque him down. Zigzagging along. So I looked up the, the specs on, you know, for the gap here. Um, and they're saying, they're showing four to six thousandths intake and exhaust. So I'm just going to go with five thousandths all the way around. Yeah, so that's just about right. All right, well I got the covers on and got this skin underneath there. But before I put uh, the cover and all this stuff on, I want to uh, reset the gaps on these um, magnetos here. 
Really doesn't look too bad. I think it's either old gas and it might have just run out of gas, but uh, not running too bad. At low RPMs, you can tell it started to, to surge, but uh, at higher RPMs, man, it was it's actually running pretty smooth. Well, all right, I guess that is it for this video. Uh, the main thing I wanted to do was to check the valves, replace the push rods, make sure it's going to crank up and all that good stuff and it did um i'm just luckily that i got the whole set um because he showed me the the bent aluminum one but the uh the steel one wasn't even on there at all hopefully it didn't you know fall down into the uh into the oil pan down there in the oil sump but i don't think it did um so we replaced that and then we found out that the uh uh that valve seat had pushed all the way out, and that's what was keeping the, the valve spring from compressing. Uh, we got all that freed up, uh, cleaned everything off, gapped both sides uh, on, on all the valves, and uh, and it pretty much cranked, cranked up. I mean, it just needs a new battery, but it cranked up, and at high RPMs, it was running really, really good, uh, really smooth. Um, at lower RPMs, you can tell it started to, to waver. Um, and I think that's just, I think it's probably bad gas in there. Uh, cause you can tell towards the end too, it just ran out of gas. So it was just burning all the old stuff out. Um, but I think that's all it needs is just, I could probably, you know, clean out the carburetor, change the oil, uh, change the, oil, uh, the gas filter, uh, needs a new battery needs a new rear tire back there. Uh, but other than that, I'm probably just going to clean the hell out of it, get it to, uh, get it to shine a little bit, make it look good again. And, uh, then I'm going to sell it off, but, but that's it for this video. I just wanted to, to check the valves and it ended up being, uh, definitely worth looking into, you know what I mean? But, uh, but I think we solved the problem. So, so I guess that's it. I'll quit rambling. And, uh, as always, Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video.